just one shot, the United States could become the dust. Vladimir Putin unveils terrifying rocket which can destroy United States space. This missile's videos from Russian media outlets show the launch of an anti-ballistic missile defense system that the show of being tested location is in Kazakhstan. It comes amid flared tensions between Russia, Ukraine plus the West over military deployments in Eastern Europe. Russia's A, B, M system are reportedly designed to protect against attacks from ballistic missiles, usually fired into suborbital space flight before striking Earth. Major General Sergei Grab, Mr. Chuck, commander of the anti-missile defense unit of the Aerospace Forces, told Russian journalists, "The new rocket can travel at a speed of over three km per second. Other footage released by Moscow showed drills in the Sirotic region where new anti-tank missiles were deployed. The 631st Artillery Warfare Training Center." A military academy carried out storm of steel exercises with Corneti Vicker and Tornado G anti-tank missiles. And this United States mortar launchers, head of missile forces in artillery, Lieutenant General Mikhail said our cadets spend 80% of their study time in the field. The test follows Mr. Putin's warning to the West not to cross a red line with Russia after countries voiced anger about Ukraine and GN opposition, critic Alexei Navalny in his annual State of the Nation address. Last week, he claimed countries like the US and UK are trying to pick on Russia. The Russia president added, We don't want to burn bridges, but if somebody interprets our good intentions as weakness, our reaction will be asymmetrical, rapid and harsh. We'll decide for ourselves in each case where the red line is Richard Moore, head of the Toll Times Radio. Mr. Putin would pay a huge price. If Russia invaded Ukraine, he said the Russians are in absolutely no doubt of where the United Kingdom stands on this issue. And they're in absolutely no doubt of where the Biden administration stands on this issue because channels are open. However, Russia pulled back more than 100,000 soldiers that were positioned on the Ukraine border this week.